Genesis! <laughs> the sun has risen on another day here in Chiang Mai, Thailand. I had a decent stay here at the Bon Thai Resort. Except I got a wake-up call that I didn't request. I'm not sure what's being said over these loudspeakers, but wow, what a way to start a morning. For some reason, I couldn't help thinking of this scene from The Hunger Games. The city streets have come to life. Check out that kid breaking up the sidewalk with a sledgehammer. Rock and roll, mate! What happened, doggy? What happened? Are you okay? Can I... Oh, don't bite me, I don't have my rabies shot. Hey, Napoleon, can I get some of your pocket rice? No way! Get your own pocket rice! I'm not sure if this is officially a thing, but I found these single-serving blocks of rice. They come in very handy. What do we have here? It looks like there was quite an accident here on the dangerous streets of Chiang Mai. Speaking of streets, we are on our way up to those mountains in the distance to visit the Chiang Mai Zoo and Aquarium. That front entrance reminds me of Jurassic Park. The entryway to the zoo makes a great first impression. I like the arches, the fountains, these elephants spitting water through their trunks. It really gives you a sense of awe. This map gives you a hint as to the magnitude of this place. Well, it's spread out over a lot of land. If you come here, get ready to do a lot of walking. The restroom, or should I say happy room, situation here is very Thai. That bucket and that pool of water, I believe, is the toilet paper. Just be prepared to hold it the entire time you're here or use these nearby bushes to do your business, or this babbling stream. Okay, that's probably not a good idea. Please don't do it, or if you do, don't mention that I told you to. No goats, no glory. Look at this guy. Hello there, Sonny. I'm 842 years old. I like hanging around this zoo. There's one of those pesky varmints. And of course, my favorite, the birds. Cockatiels. They make great pets. That's a nice fro you got there, bro. No. <laughs> Walking around, I stumbled upon these well-decorated floats. I don't know if they have a parade here at some point, but that wasn't happening today. Check this out. You can walk into the mouth of this beast. And uh, it doesn't really go anywhere. Hippopotami? Hippopotami? Is that the plural for hippopotamus? I'll have to Google that. Anyway, like I said, you will do lots of walking at this zoo and keep in mind it's really hot and humid and somehow the majority of the time you will, you will be walking uphill. This looked pretty interesting. Uh, some sort of tiger exhibit. It was way down that hill and uh, it was closed. <laughs> no goats, no glory.
Oh, over there, it looks like we got some bears. <laughs> Check these guys out. Just pacing back and forth on this wall. <coughs> Even though they look cute, I would not want to be in the cage with them. <laughs> this zoo is situated in a very natural setting. It's actually quite beautiful. I just wish it wasn't so hot. There weren't so many bugs. Ah, flamingos. Birds, my favorite. What's up, guys? Look left, look right, look left, look right, look left, look right. And just in case you were wondering how flamingos mate, well... Zoos can be quite educational. This parrot display was pretty epic. And that's pretty much it. There's no lions, no tigers, no... Well, there were bears. Oh my! But to be honest with you, there wasn't a whole lot to see here. And that explains why the reviews online are very low for this place. There were a whole lot of empty exhibits. And the animals that were there were nothing really exotic. So, uh, I'm not really sure I could recommend this place. After a long day observing the wildlife, it was time to observe a different kind of wildlife. Let's head on over to the Kalar Night Bazaar. Here, hidden among the endless sea of trinkets and souvenirs, huh. I discovered yet more counterfeit goods. This place had a printed glossy magazine showing all of the knockoffs you can buy. I guess this country isn't very big on intellectual property rights. Check this out. It's an old VW bus that was converted into a bar. Best food truck idea ever. Cowboy's Satan, or Sate, sorry. This place, uh, this is where I got my dinner. Oh, so nice to have good barbecue. I'm not really in the mood to see more trinkets. So let's head on over to, to observe some really wild life. Drunk people at the bars. This place is a drinking and nightclub heaven, if you're into that sort of thing. Apparently the silly and yellow place is very popular. Even the Vlognosis got in on the dance action. How is this for copyright infringement? Taco's Bell. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure Taco Bell doesn't mind. I've had enough wildlife for one day, and now I'm headed back to the hotel to catch some Z's. And I gotta say, this town is really dead after midnight. So there you have it, another day in Thailand wrapped up. I hope you've enjoyed watching the wild animals and the wild humans practicing their mating rituals. As for me, I'm a loner, Dottie, a rebel. Thanks for watching. As always, I'd love to hear your feedback. Go ahead and leave a comment below and I will catch up with you in the next episode.